Okay, so I was recently at the ICML conference in Vancouver, Canada. And one of the companies that had a booth at the expo there was Alama. And not only did they have a booth at the conference, they also threw a party for Alama's second birthday. Now, it's kind of amazing to think that actually Alama is two years old. It just shows how quickly things have gone. But sure enough, they are two years old. And not only did they throw a party with a lot of cool Alama figures there, but they also had a preview launch. And that's what I want to show you in this video. So most likely up until now, when you've used a Llama, you've probably had it running in your menu bar, etc. And really the only sort of use that you would use it there was if you saw that there was an update, you would have to restart it. As of now though, you can actually open an Llama app and you'll see that when the app opens like this, we can now access a whole bunch of different models that are in here. Now, if you don't have the model in here, what will happen is the first time that you go to use it, it will actually download the model. In this case, the Quen3 model, I do have downloaded. And you can see that I can basically just use this like a chat GPT kind of interface in here. And if the model has thinking, it will show the thinking as you can see here, and then we'll show the output. So with the incorporation of thinking tags that they had recently, this allows you to basically put the whole thing together in here. Now, not only can you chat with this, but you can actually use this like a rag system as well. So you can chat with a PDF or you can put in an image, etc. So you'll see that if I drag over a PDF file, we get this drop files in here. And now it's basically going to use this as context for anything that we want to ask. So we can put multiple files in there. I'm guessing there is some limit. I haven't really worked this out. The version that I'm using here is a pre-release version. So it may change a little bit by the time you get to play with this. And you can see in this case, I've dragged across some slides about a mechanistic interpretability presentation from the conference. And you can see that it's starting to do some thinking about it. It's going through what was actually in those slides. Looks like it's starting to do an okay job. But the key thing is we could have dragged in an image and as long as we have a model that can handle images, we could basically do that. We could drag in a PDF book. We could drag in a bunch of different things in here. Now you've got some settings in here as well of where you can actually set things like the context size for the model that you want to use and also set things like where your models are, etc. in here. You can see we can have our various chats in here with no problems as it goes through. Now, what if you want a more powerful model? So this has been always one of the challenges with Olama is that you're limited to these small models that are actually on your system. But pretty soon with this new app, it doesn't have to actually be the case anymore. One of the things that Olama is going to do with this new app is that you can actually use it for what they're calling turbo mode. So turbo mode is where we can pick models that are actually running in the cloud. In this case, if I want to use the Kimi K2 model, I can come in here and say, okay, tell me about mechanistic interpretability and the key themes I should know. So you can see I've got Kimi 2 selected. So you can see it's running as turbo. So if I run it through, I'm getting really fast tokens out here and they're actually coming and they're streaming down from a Kimi K2 in the cloud here. So while this is not totally local and offline, it does allow us to basically test out some of these big models without having to spin up a GPU or without having to even spin up something to use an API endpoint. You can keep all this. Now this will basically stay in my own personal chat system. As far as I know, they're not storing the conversations, etc., in the cloud. And of course, to run something like this is not going to be endlessly free in here. Okay, so to set it up so that you can use Turbo, you'll need to come over and actually make a Alama.com account where you can basically upload models, you can do stuff like that. In here, you will be able to basically just pick a free plan, which as far as I know, has got a rolling 10,000 credits per seven days. But if you want to, you can upgrade to Pro. Now, I'm not sure what the launch pricing is. Like I said, I'm actually testing a pre-launch version of this, but from talking to the founders, the goal for this is to more help people fill in the gaps with some models that they perhaps wanted to try out that were much bigger. I don't think the plan is to make this a huge money-making venture for this. 
So on top of the Kimi K2 model, which in my testing is definitely showing to be probably the best open model around at the moment, but you've also got access to the Quen 3 mixture of experts models as well. Both the big one, the 235B and the smaller 30B with 3B active in here. And of course, you can put your own models in here if you wanted to use images or PDFs, etc. So overall, this is a pretty cool release from Olama to celebrate their second birthday. Definitely, I can see a lot of people who don't like using the command line and have used other apps because of that. Now we'll be able to use this. And this is running on Olama's own engines. This is not just using only Llama CPP anymore. It's actually got their own engines. My guess is that we will probably see updates for this coming with perhaps new features, etc. But overall, check it out because now you've got a very quick interface where you can test out local models and even soon try out the really big open models and get a quick sense of what a model can do before you go and start using it from an API, etc. All right. As always, if you found the video useful, please click like and subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.